Warning, the following video that you're about to see contains bad language and is only recommended for ages 13 and over. No kids under the age of 13 allowed. Viewer discretion is advised. So if you're a kid under the age of 13, then you better get your ass off this damn video right now. Because Scaredoo21's channel is not for you. What's up YouTube? This is your boy Speardu21 and I'm over here with the Flamehead97. Hey guys, this is the Flamehead97 here and I'm here with Speardu21 and it's going to be a collab video on reasons why metal and rock music should be mainstream and this is definitely a great collaboration here between me and Speardu21 so thank you Speardu for asking me to once again be in a collaboration video with you and I Definitely look forward to this one because I'm a big fan of both genres. So thank you, Spirit Dude, for asking me to join you in this. It's an honor, as always. And we're going to be giving reasons why rock and metal music should be mainstream. So the reason why I think rock and metal should be mainstream is because most of the shit that's mainstream nowadays is just generic-ass pop music and shitty-ass rap music. Not all mainstream pop music and rap music is bad, but the majority of it is pretty damn bad. We need more genres in the mainstream today, besides pop music and rap music, because a lot of rap music and pop music today is so fucking generic and watered down. Like, it's just very ridiculous how watered down pop music and rap music is today. But the majority of rock music and metal music is still very great to this very day. And that's one of the many good things about rock and metal, is that those two genres haven't gone downhill over the years. Unlike lots of other genres, like pop, rap, R&B, country, and, uh, and uh, tons of other genres. But if rock and metal became mainstream, I just really fucking hope that they don't water it down. And, uh, yeah, if, um, if rock and metal become mainstream, let's just all hope and pray that they don't water it down, like pop music and rap music. One of the main problems with the music industry nowadays is that most of the time they don't even promote good music. They just, uh, they just promote garbage like Lil Baby, Da Baby, Lil Yachty, Kodak Black, Young Thug, Lil Pump, Lil Xan, Lil Nas X, Cardi B, and uh, other shitty rappers like that. And they keep promoting generic, boring singers like Olivia Rodrigo, Billie Eilish, Taylor Swift, Chris Brown, and, uh, and other generic singers like that. And, uh... <sighs> but that's just how stupid and retarded the music industry is nowadays. Rock music and metal music in general, the older shit and the newer shit, has a lot more creativity and effort put into it than the majority of pop music and rap music today. And when I say rock and metal should be mainstream, I'm talking about actual talented rock artists and metal artists. I'm not talking about Machine Gun Kelly, who's a whack-ass rock artist, and he's a huge fucking disgrace to rock music, and is an example of rock music being watered down and complete shit. Oh, with fuck Slipknot, I would rather listen to Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly has a lot more talent than Slipknot. <laughs> it's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> fuck Machine Gun Kelly. If rock and metal were to become mainstream, 
We need actual talented rock artists and metal artists like Slipknot, Guns N' Roses, ACDC, Metallica, Aerosmith, Ozzy Osbourne, and other talented rock artists and metal artists like that to be mainstream. And not shitty ass, whack ass rock artists like Machine Gun Kelly, Lil Wayne, or Lil Pump. I just think it's stupid as hell when it's, when certain rappers like Lil Wayne, Machine Gun Kelly, and Lil Pump label themselves as rock artists. When they suck ass at making rock music when they try to attempt to make it. And they have no talent whatsoever when it comes to making rock music. Oh, with fuck Slipknot, Guns N' Roses, ACDC, Motorhead. Um, uh, Slayer, and uh, all those other whack-ass rock and metal bands. I would rather listen to, I, I would rather listen to Lil Wayne's rock stuff, Machine Gun Kelly's rock stuff, and Lil Pump's so-called rock stuff. <laughs> Nigga, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. But it would be good for the music industry and the mainstream if the talented rock artists and metal artists became mainstream because it would be something new and it would actually be adding something good to the mainstream because most of the shit that's in the mainstream today is complete garbage. But, but sadly to say, I don't think rock and metal will ever become mainstream. Because that's... Because... Uh, because the music industry is so corrupt nowadays. And they just want to keep promoting shitty music. But... But it is what it is. <sighs> like seriously, fuck the music industry nowadays. Like, the music industry nowadays is so corrupt and flawed, and most of the time, they don't even, they don't even promote talented artists. Like, and that's pretty much all I gotta say about why I think rock and metal should be mainstream. So here is the Flamehead 97 with his reasonings on why rock and metal should be mainstream. So let's gonna get started. So one reason why I think metal and rock should be mainstream is because there's not too many metal and rock bands that are well known in the mainstream. Like you got bands like Fozzy. I know they've had their big hits like Judas, Enemy, songs like those, but they have so much more to offer with their music that I feel like they're just an underrated and overlooked hard rock slash heavy metal band so yeah it's definitely a lot of great bands in metal and rock that should be way more popular in the mainstream so yeah Falls is definitely a great exception of that so yeah that's one reason why I think metal and rock should be mainstream is because there's not too many bands that are well known another reason is because a lot of the mainstream stuff that is actually popular is just generic music like mumble rap Trap, stuff like that. So, metal and rock should be the kind of music that's mainstream these days instead of like mumble rap and trap. I mean, trap was good in the 2000s, but nowadays it's just repetitive bullshit. So, yeah, metal and rock should be mainstream instead of mumble rap and trap. So, that's another reason why I think metal and rock should be mainstream. And another reason why I think metal and rock should be mainstream is because it's definitely a diverse genre, especially metal, because you got all the subgenres like you got new metal, gothic metal, thrash metal, melodic death metal, death metal, and so on and so forth. 
so yeah, metal is definitely a very diverse genre of music. But yeah, rock should also be mainstream as well though because you got hard rock, pop rock, I mean, I know pop rock and hard rock are pretty well known, but I just feel like some hard rock bands that are actually worth the damn should be mainstream, so yeah, hard rock is definitely a great genre of rock, pop rock is pretty good as well, so yeah, these are some reasons why rock and metal should be mainstream, so yeah, these bands that are so good don't get the popularity that they deserve, so that can maybe be another reason why metal and rock music should be mainstream. And another reason why I think metal and rock should be mainstream is because they're just great music genres overall. They both have a lot to offer with the music itself. You got a lot of great and relatable metal and rock songs. One example is Done Forgiven by Metallica. That's definitely a very amazing ballad by a legendary metal band. That's actually one of my favorite Metallica songs of all time. And it's one of the songs that got me into Metallica, along with Inner Singing Man. So yeah, Metal and Rock both have a lot to offer with the genres of music themselves, so maybe that can be another reason why it should be mainstream. So, I really don't know what else to say from a part of this club, guys, but thank you Speardoo for asking me to join this club with you, bro. I definitely appreciate it, man. So yeah, I hope my reasonings are some good reasons why I think metal and rock should be mainstream. I'm sorry if I can't think of anything right now, but this is pretty much all I can think of for this collab with Spear Dude. So once again, thank you Spear Dude for asking me to be in this collab with you. It's on, always an honor, bro. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.